Hello and welcome to another After Effects tutorial. So today we would be making text reveal. Ta da! So number three, we are going to create the old school typewriter effect. Now for this you need a text. So let's type a text that is going to be text reveal. Now we will center it for absolutely no reason and we'll make the pivot point at the center okay after searching through the fonts i think this font looks the best it is a old school kind of you know typewriter-ish font so that's the font we are going to use now like before we are going to drop down the menu the text menu and from animate we are going to add opacity just one effect now you may be asking okay we have used opacity but it never looked like a typewriter but today it will so the first thing we need to change here in the opacity effect is let's go to advanced tab and let's reduce the smoothness to absolutely zero okay then now this is your effect wow that looks really nice let's move on number two Wait, there is something extra for you there is a bonus at the end of the video you have to watch the entire video for that let's get back to our programming number two we have the handwritten or the signature style reveal for this we need to have a handwriting font let's find a font Two thousand years later after typing and after 2000 years we are going to finally settle on one font we're going to make it at the center and we are going to capitalize on the T capital letters you know for this we need to do something a bit different that is we need to select the text and make some mask so how do you do that first thing you need to select is the text layer now from the tool panel select the pen tool and then start drawing now you can see how we can draw first click then the next click and then drag without leaving the click it will create a curve otherwise it will create a straight line now i'll speed it up for you guys so that you don't get bored while watching it because I got bored doing it okay then so this looks quite good now we need to do every letter we can either choose to do it individually or we can just combine them okay then so after we have created the mask we need to just add the stroke effect now you can just search for it now after you have added the stroke effect we are going to change the size to about yay big so that the entire text is visible now we will animate the end property as you can see this looks awesome let's see the final effect number one we have the matrix reloading type text generating text now for this it's very easy first of all let's create the text let's write it text reveal and we are going to do our shenanigans like centering it and changing the font now we need some kind of robotic or a squarish font for this now the font is it's on your screen you can use any font as you like now let's again drop down then add the first thing that is opacity now everything starts with the opacity you know next we are going to add character value and character offset we're going to just give it some random number now start from this range sector the start would be zero and the end would be 100 percent make sure it's 100 percent or you are going to misspell your words okay then let's see it in the action now here i'm doing something extra i'm adding this color now again add properties and then 
color RGB. That's the way to do it. This is your text reveal effect matrix style. So the timing doesn't look right yet. It's kind of too fast. So we will drag the keyframes apart to make it slow. Now this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to make it even longer so that each letter has the chance to evolve. Wow, the effect looks really nice. So beautiful, so elegant, just looking like a wow. Now comes the bonus one. It's called the Dhamakedar Entry Text Reveal. Now to make this Dhamakedar text effect or text reveal, what we need to do is first of all, select a thick font like impact. Now center it and then convert it into a shape. Now right click and you will get the convert menu. Now after it's a shape, change the fill to nothing and the stroke to be your 100% or the color white and the stroke height depends on the size of your text. Now we are going to come to the drop down of the shape layer and add an effect that is trim path effect. Basically it's like the signature that we did but slightly different. Now what I'm going to do is we are going to create a transition point. If you don't know how to create transitions in After Effects, please go and watch the last video. Now we are going to search from the effects the light burst effect and we can do a lot of things with it for the time being we are going to change the color to red because red is my favorite color and we are going to change we are going to change the ray height to zero at the starting and in the middle it will turn to 100 and at the end it will turn back to zero so we have this zoom effect or zhoosh effect on the market entry effect now the red color doesn't suit it very much so what we are going to do is we're gonna make some changes here and there let's see if it the red colors you know suits us the red doesn't suit me so i'm changing it back to white it cannot be red every time guys now that's your effect wow! subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye!